This is a demonstration of how I make a music only performance track from a split track CD. Split tracks usually come with music on the left channel and vocals on the right channel. The purpose of this is basically to be a guide track for rehearsal purposes. Another common feature is that one song may be on multiple tracks or indexes of a CD. The purpose of that usually, again, is for rehearsing where you can have the introduction of the song on one track, the verse on another track, the chorus on another track, so it makes it easy to repeat a section until you get it right. So my first task is to take these individual tracks which I've extracted from the CD and combine them all into one file. I'm using here Sound, Sony SoundForge, which to me is one of the best uh, programs available for waveform editing. Um, I take the individual files and I copy them all into one, making a master file of all the takes. And I, this is where I use some sort of precision to make sure that I um, join these files to ensure that I don't skip a beat or, or overlap the waveforms in any way. So as I said, I'm cutting and pasting all the various takes into one file to create a master file for the song. Once this is done and the song is complete, uh, the next step would be to remove the vocal track. As you can see, the vocal track is the right channel only. Um, so this is actually an easy task. This is not like trying to remove vocals from a stereo track. Split tracks are designed specifically with the music on one side and vocals on the other. So I select the vocal channel and I delete all the information that's on there, leaving me with just the left channel, which has music only. The next step is channel conversion, basically changing the stereo file into a mono file. Since the only information there is the left channel with the music, the new file, the mono file, is going to only have the music. Um, of course, if the vocal track was still there, we would end up with a file that combines both music and vocals. Um, I ch usually choose to create a mono file because uh, stereo mono doesn't really matter because at this point, both channels are going to have the exact same information. So stereo mono really doesn't matter. So that's basically it. I created a music-only performance track from a stereo split track. Thanks.